Hiya, it's Adrian and welcome to another episode of We Don't Like Being Lied To. Now, this episode is to extend uh, a deeper look, if you will, into electromagnetic radiation and the profound effects it has on humans, animals, and plants. If you haven't seen the other video where we looked at a book by Arthur Furstenberg called The Invisible Rainbow, I'd encourage you to take a look at that and you can find a link to that in the description as well as to the other videos in the series. Now, just to give you a quick summary of electromagnetic radiation and the effects, the health effects of cumulative low-level intensity radio frequency radiation exposure include DNA mutations, mitochondrial damage, tumors, cancers, and children's skulls are thinner so they will receive more radiation, heart palpitations, memory and cognitive problems, sperm changes and infertility, headaches, migraines, ringing of ears, ADHD, anxiety, depression, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes. Now, I'm gonna refer you to a really, really good video. It was sent to me, a link was sent to me the other day, and it's very, very good. It was made seven years ago, but it's probably one of the best pieces of um, journalistic research I've seen on the subject. And I would encourage you to look at that. And in particular, when they go through this, they cover a point which I think could be pivotal to um, certainly my current understanding. Radio frequency stroke microwave radiation affect the human resonance signals, which are the mechanisms through which melatonin production is activated. Now, for those of you that don't know, and I would encourage you to watch the video if you're interested in this subject, you produce melatonin only when you're asleep and when it's dark. When you produce melatonin, it's the melatonin, which is probably one of the strongest antioxidants in the body that helps your body repair because your body only repairs when it sleeps. And there is considerable research they go into about that, and I think that's critical. So what seems to happen, from my understanding, is that your body doesn't produce the melatonin correctly when you are bathed in electromagnetic radiation because it doesn't activate the production. And that could be one of the major contributing things that's causing the health problems. I really don't know. But that one really popped out at me when I heard it for the first time in this video. The other thing I've done in the description below, you'll find a link to that video. You'll also find a link to the video by Dr. Devra Davis, which talks about the harm that electromagnetic frequencies and radiation do to people. Um, and she's a very, very clever lady. And again, if you haven't watched that one and you want to dig deeper into this subject, that video and the one that I'm talking about here are really worth looking into. And I think it will certainly help you when we start to talk about 5G by understanding what the long-term health impacts of these other technologies have been. So as ever, it's been lovely talking to you. And on this one, you need to go to the description and click on the link to watch the video that we're talking about. You guys are amazing. We're all in this together. Keep smiling and I will see you in the next video. Take care. See you. Bye-bye. Thank you.